Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss uh, introduction to Cisco Packet Tracer. Specifically, we will be uh, discussing the interface of Cisco Packet Tracer, which is actually a simulation program. And uh, so Cisco Packet Tracer is a network simulation program and this helps us to gain practical skills in computer networking. So once we have uh, when, once we are done with the theory part of computer na computer networks that what the computer network is how to establish the computer network what kind of devices do we need then to establish or to gain the practical skills in computer networking we need to have these hardware devices like routers switches computer and uh, other option is that we can actually use some of these simulation programs and those simulation programs will help us understand the practical aspects of computer networking. So what is simulation? Simulation is actually a copy of the operation of a system. So if you don't have the hardware devices and you cannot establish a computer system or computer network in real sense, then what you can do, you can use a simulation program and those simulation program will be exactly a copy. Eh? So copy of the uh, operation of a system that how the system will actually work and uh, Cisco packet tracer is free to use and this can be downloaded from Cisco Network Academy and we need to register on their website and the website link is given in the description below so the first and the most popular uh, um, is the menu bar which have which we have been using in Microsoft Word and we we, we have been using this in Microsoft uh, Microsoft PowerPoint as well so in this menu bar we have this uh, file edit options view tools extensions so if we click on any of them then we will have more options as well as you have been doing in Microsoft Word as well as in Microsoft PowerPoint Next is the main toolbar. In this toolbar, we have the most commonly used menu command. So for example, save, open, these are the most commonly used uh, menu commands. So these are uh, collected and they are put in the main toolbar. In the same way we have common toolbar. As the name suggests, common toolbar provides access to uh, the commonly used work workspace tools. So more, more, these are the most commonly used tools. And then this is actually the workspace. This complete, this area is known as the workspace. So the workspace is the area where we create our network, we simulate our network and see related information. So if you want to create a network where two computers are connected with the help of maybe switch, so we will establish our network in this area and we will do in the later video how to establish a computer network in this workspace and below that we have the network component box so we can see this is the network component box and this network component box actually contains the devices and the connections which we need to establish a computer network so and this network component box itself is divided into two parts are into two areas one is device type selection and then second one is device specific selection and uh, so in this device type selection box so this is shown here in device type selection box uh, uh, we can select the type of the devices and uh, and the connection types so for example if we if we need routers or if we need switches so we can select so can for example these are the end nodes or computer our computers these are different kinds of router switches so if we need any type of devices we need to go here and this will us this will provide us the device type and then we have we have sorry this device specific selection as well then once we have selected for example here then we will be um, given different options and more options that which specific router you need to use in this uh, computer network which you want to establish now so this is the device specific selection box 
So the device specific selection box is the area where we can choose specific devices. So as we, as I told you before, that which specific router we need to use in this specific computer network which we want to establish now. Then we also have a logical view as well as uh, sorry logical as well as physical workspace. So in a logical workspace, we actually make a logical network where you can connect the computers, switches, and routers. And in the physical workspace, actually this will give you a physical layout. For example, where actually your network will be established. For example, in which building or which place so that will be the physical layout that in, in that specific uh, uh, room or in this specific building your, your network will be established and within that building we will have network of computer and uh, routers and switches so, so they will be connected with each other and this will give us uh, the logical view of that and that logical view will be showing us only the nodes are the hardware devices which which are used to establish the network and then in Cisco packet tracer we also have the re real time uh, as well as simulation bar so in um, so in packet tracer in packet tracer we have different modes are two modes of operation so one is the real time and second is the simulation bar so in simulation, or the, sorry, in the real time, the network behaves as a real network. So what happens? Whatever uh, operation will be performed, that will be in real time. So how the how the things are going on. And in the simulation mode, we can actually see the the behavior of the data as it transfer or it as it travels from one point to another. So in real time, the packets will be transferred all at once. We cannot see it. But if you want to visualize the operation of a network step by step, then this simulation mode will help us to do that. And we will do this in one of the videos that how this real time mode and simulation mode differ and uh, how, how, can, how, how we can make use of these modes to better understand the ideas behind computer networking. So this is user created window and in this user created window uh, actually we can create customizable packet. Uh, so if you want to say for example in the if we are in the simulation mode then we can we, we have even more options so we can customize the, the package so we can change some of the options there so we will be using this in, in in a video when we will be simulating one of the computer network by using this simulation mode um, so this is the uh, last slide because i didn't want to make it so longer so in the next video we will be going through all these options which are available in the packet tracer but the uh, important or the most important point is that if you are, we are studying computer networks and if you want to get the practical knowledge, practical skills that how to configure the routers, how to configure maybe uh, on the computer side, so how these different devices work uh, together to give us a computer networks to exchange the information. So that's it. Uh, Thank you, thank you very much for your time.